Section 2.4, Postulates and Diagrams. In this section, we have a lot of new postulates. Remember, though, we already have learned four postulates. That is the ruler postulate, the segment addition postulate, the protractor postulate, and the angle addition postulate. Segment addition and angle addition postulates are ones that we will use a lot throughout the rest of this course. So make sure that you know those. And remember, a postulate is a statement that is accepted as true. Cannot be proven. Well, let's look at some new postulates. And these are postulates involving points, lines, and planes. First, we have postulate 5. And postulate 5 tells me that through any two points, there exists exactly one line. So if I have points A and B, notice I have infinitely many point lines that can go through A. assuming I can actually draw them through point A. There we go. However, there's only one line I can draw that will pass through both points A and B. So line L is also named line AB. We then have postulate 6, which is closely related to postulate 5. And what postulate 6 tells us is given a line, we'll name this line M, any line we are given contains at least two points. So line M, which is the same as line XY. And we notice postulate 5 tells us any two points defines a unique line, and postulate 6 tells us that any line contains at least two points. In postulate 7, we are now looking at the intersection of two lines. And if two lines intersect, then their intersection is exactly one point. Lines will not intersect at multiple points. If lines intersect, then they intersect at one and only one point. So point P is the point of intersection for lines L and M.